As the brother said, my name is Sister Malika. I am the D National Director of Vic and Relief's Transitional Housing Facilities, as well as the Director of the New England Area Field Office. So I want to talk to you a little bit about ICNA Relief USA on a national, but then also talk to you about our responsibility as Muslims in America. So as you saw in the video, is a brief snippet of some of our programs, alhamdulillah. But ICNA Relief is a national organization serving in the USA with offices in almost every major city across the country. To some of our programs, as you saw, include hunger prevention. We have 22 soup kitchens and food pantries throughout the US serving low-income communities. We've responded to over 40 disasters in the United States since Hurricane Katrina. Can you imagine what that might look like? Imagine you are in rural Mississippi. You've experienced a flood, and the Muslims show up in your neighborhood. Oftentimes, when we respond to disasters, this is the first interaction that those impacted have ever had with a Muslim. This is changing hearts. This is changing minds. Can you imagine when a sister comes in hijab and delivers a backpack to a low-income family going for their children going back to school, the impact that this has on that individual. ICNA Relief serves everyone in the United States, regardless of race, religion, faith, background. We have 12 operating transitional housing facilities for homeless women in the United States. Because if not who, if not us, who will house the homeless women within our communities? And what might they face? I work with many women who have become homeless by, not by their own doing, but have gone to public shelters and were ridiculed because they were Muslim. Women who have faced abuse and neglect who were told by shelter staff that it was because they were Muslim that they were abused. The ultimate goal was to get them to leave their faith. If we do not provide these services for them, we leave them astray. So ICNA Relief has stepped up to take this role in the community to care for those, first and foremost for our brothers and sisters, but overall for our brothers and sisters in humanity. So ICNA Relief believes that the best dawah is service. Service to mankind is the best dawah that you can give someone. When we as Muslims show them true Islam through our deeds and our actions. So all of us, especially now, especially in 2016, soon to be 2017 when Trump takes office, it is truly up to us now to be ambassadors of Islam. You know, We've held a lot of talks in our communities, especially since September 11th. We've gone to the churches, we've gone to the synagogues, we've held hands in interfaith dialogues. But where has that gotten us? We are still seen as the other today, aren't we? We still live with concerns and worries because we've talked and we've talked. Well. It's time for action. It is time for us to step up again to be the true ambassadors of Islam and to join hands in this country with others who also face racism and discrimination and oppression. We hear a lot of talk about social justice. Now, when most people think about social justice, they think about racism and discrimination, oppression, things of that nature. But, you know, and Islamophobia is the big, you know, social justice issue within the Muslim community. But social justice is more than activism. Social justice is also serving those who face economic disparity, economic injustice, the poor, the oppressed, the underprivileged. It's not just in 2016 that we have homeless among us. But what do many do when we see a homeless person on the street? We turn the other way. Look out, they might ask for money. Oh, they might be going to get high or to get drunk. But who are we to judge? 
When Allah has placed that person in front of you to give you the opportunity to earn reward, but how many of us pass that by? So once again, we have so many lessons in this country for the Muslim community to look at and to learn from. If we look today in Standing Rock, the indigenous people of America, the Native Americans, are still struggling, but they're standing for all of us. Can we not do the same for others? When we look at the struggle of the African American community in the civil rights movement, there are so many lessons there that we can learn as a community today. If we join hands with others that don't look like us, who may not talk like us or dress like us, but have expertise and experiences that we can learn from, we can become a stronger community as a whole. So ICNA Relief invites you to join us, join us to be true ambassadors of Islam. This is the only dawah at this time, as we've seen, the talking is enough. We need to step out of our comfort zones. We need to start thinking differently. How can I show others on a day-to-day -day basis what Islam is? Do you open the door at the grocery store for the elderly woman coming in? Do you help others who may need a cup of coffee on your way to work, but you're afraid that they're gonna take that money and do something haram? But when you give that donation, you don't know what may touch a person's heart. You may not know what one deed could change a person's course in life. When we look at the homeless or the hungry, no one chooses to become homeless. No one chooses to live on the street. No one chooses to be hungry. But in 2016, I think it's close to 7 million children go hungry in the United States on a daily basis. But how much wealth is within the Muslim community? As we heard, our zakat is supposed to be distributed here first. So when we're thinking about justice, let's not think about, in the infamous words of Linda Sarazar, let's not think about just us. We need to think about others. We need to join hands. This is how we are going to change the course of this climate that we see today in Islamophobia. When we work through our service to all mankind, we will change the course. When we join hands with indigenous people, both African American and Native American, when we join hands with our Latino brothers and sisters who face deportation, when we join hands with the Sikh community who are targeted more often, more quickly than the Muslim community, when we join hands with others and unite can you imagine the change that could happen? So Ikhna Relief needs your help. So I bet you didn't know that this was a recruiting session. So I have my colleagues who will be going around and we're looking for others to stand with us because it's a ripple effect. When we pay it forward, it's a ripple effect. You might think, well, what can I as one person do? You can do a lot. I am one person. Alhamdulillah, and I have been extremely blessed. As I said, when you see the person on the street who may be in need, don't think about it as, oh, I have to give a dollar or I have to give change. No, say, mashallah, Allah has blessed me. Allah has picked and chosen me to be the one to help this person. Allah has given me the opportunity to gain barakah instead of looking away. We all, each and every one of us, can make a difference in the lives of another. So you're going to see these postcards going around. If you do not have a food pantry or a soup kitchen in your neighborhood or your community, why not? Why not start one? If you don't have a shelter in your community, why not? Are there not homeless? There's no one in need in your community? I'm sure there are. So please join Ikna Relief. Whether you want to start a soup kitchen, a food pantry, a shelter, or some sort of social service, please take these cards, fill them out, and someone will get in touch with you, inshallah. And after you've filled out these cards, there will be a table in the back where you can bring them and receive more information, inshallah. Jazakallah, Allah.